Hello. So I'm going to talk about something that doesn't get talked about a lot, and that is how to go about using references. Uh, a lot of beginners seem to not want to use references, uh, and they think it might be cheating or weak or whatever. No, use, use references. So I'm going to show you how I use references. When I'm building something, I don't generally try to build it from scratch out of my head right away. Uh, I don't just sit down at Blender and build it. Uh, sometimes I have to do a lot of sketching and refining and all that stuff, but the very first step that I'll often take is to go over some references. I have a big stack of them on my hard drive, but for today's sake I'm just going to be taking you through a standard Google image search for ruins, because we're going to be building ruins. Now the ruins I have in mind are ruins at the side of an oasis, uh, a big temple, and it's maybe 200 years abandoned. So. If we look at these images, and we start up here, uh, the Basra ruins are too old. Um, they're a little bit too decrepit for what I need. Uh, they're also too sandy. Um, while this is supposed to be at the edge of a desert, I don't want the ruins to be buried in sand. I want them to be kind of a war between the plants and the sand. Uh, and also the brickwork here in Basra is way, way too steady. Uh, it's not interesting enough for the kinds of shadow play I want to do. So if we move along, um, well, that's just a uh, that's just a fantasy picture. Ah, here, the Rival R Rival Alley, whatever. Uh, looks like it's French. <laughs> I really like these arches, and it's about the right age in terms of how it looks. It's not the right culture. Um, it this is discernibly, uh, you know, late European, late Middle Age European stuff, uh, but. The basic idea here is good, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the image in its own tab. I don't save everything at the instant I find interesting. The, inst the instant I find it interesting is that I open it up in a new tab, uh, and then I'll like look at all the tabs and see how my ideas are evolving, because the whole point of this is to try and evolve your ideas. So I really like these decorative arches, uh, the way that they have several layers to them. That thickness is really great, uh, and it's something I'm definitely going to want to use. Um, yeah, I like this area too. Uh, the the broken pathway and then this this tight interior. I really li really like that. But I think they must have punched the color up, done something weird with the color. Uh, the bricks are the color of Play-Doh. That's really weird. So I won't be using any of the textures from this. We continue on. Uh, here is a tropical ruin. It looks like I got some plants dangling down with greenery. I really like this brick texture, although the color might be too dark. Um, also, uh, it may be a little bit too tropical for what I'm looking to do, but it is still really, really nice, and uh, if we look at it, yeah, I really like that uh, the look of these bricks and the way that the plants hang down. These sort of references are invaluable if you're actually doing modeling, because plants uh, behave in a very specific way, and unless you have long history of making plants, you're always going to want to use references. So, uh, no, no, that doesn't look the kind of ruin I want. Well, that's not the kind of ruin I want either. Um, no, so you just kind of pluck through, try and find, ooh, I like how this one looks. Uh, so this is a ruin where we've got a lot of very, very heavy greenery up above the ruin, and uh, it it is probably a little bit old for our needs, but it looks good. It's in good condition, and it's got some really nice structuring. I'm definitely going to want to look at this again. Uh, it'll it'll really help my thoughts on the subject of how the plants are taking over the ruin. Uh, oh! Hmm. I think this is... I'm not sure this is real. It might be a painting, but it's too clean either way. Uh, too clean for what I need. Oh, look, this is really neat brickwork here. This uh, slowly disintegrating brickwork looks fantastic. So if I open this up in a new tab, and I compare this to the abbey that we originally looked at, so what we've got here is the abbey, and you can see that this brickwork is really pretty tight. Um, and even when it gets broken, it's not broken in a particularly amazing way. It just kind of shears off. But here in Alxnar, uh the brickwork is twisted. 
and it comes apart in big chunks that leaves uneven bricks and that's great that's beautiful uh, so I don't really like the way that the arcs are wide I'll probably end up using these tight corridors but with this kind of brickwork maybe I'll have to think about it you can see that there are a lot of other pictures of Alcazar, Al Alcazar uh, and I could just troll through them looking for cool imagery um, but I generally try not to. If I look at too many pictures of the same thing, it sways my it sways my thinking too much. So I generally try and keep moving because I'm just trying to, you know, use my use my uh, uh, coming up with ideas as fast as possible. Brainstorming. So here's the Kagsawa ruins. That's very cute, but I don't think that's what I need. Um, too small. I can't see it too old. Looks like standard Irish ruins. Oh, that looks nice. This is real? Holy shit, this is real! Uh, and these people are nice enough to redirect me to their page rather than just let me see the image, which is fine. Uh, so here you can see that we've got this giant tree roots just kind of going everywhere. Um, I think what I'll end up doing is combining that with this sort of greenery and we'll get some like overgrown tree roots taking over. Oh that'll be great. By the way I don't I don't uh, have any distaste for the fact that they opened up into their own home page. That is perfectly acceptable. It's just uh, uh, it's not what I need them for today. I'm not planning on using any of these images in any kind of um, distributive way. I'm just using them for demonstration purposes here, and it's not like I'm distributing them. Uh, if you take a screenshot of that image from my video, that's pretty strange. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, you can also do a uh, limit it to large if you'd like. Um, although in this case, it says that it's quite large. Just a thumbnail is awkward. So this is a painting. Uh, oh, of a city. Not what we need at all. Here's this cute one again. There's lots of this. Oh, this one's been really damaged, though. The image has been over-processed. So, I'm still processing through these, but I'm starting to see a lot fewer hits. Uh, things that interest me are getting rarer here. Um, so here we have some uh, a drawing of what some artist's conception of a Nordic burrow would look like. Uh, and I'm actually, at first glance, I thought these were tree roots, and I'm thinking that would be really neat, wouldn't it? If the tree roots, like here, for example, if these huge tree roots from uh, from these Preya Khan trees, these here, if they punched down into the ground sometimes, and the interior was covered in these just these heavy, ropey tree roots. Uh, so as I'm going along, the ideas are starting to really emerge. Um, and this is live. I'm not, I'm not going back and talking about something I came up with earlier. I did take an earlier take of this, but I only got to the third picture before I started sneezing uncontrollably. So, hmm, <laughs> that looks a little bit too hobbity. Here's another picture of that tree. Oh, this is just a painting inspired by the same thing I was inspired by, which is fine. Um. That's probably not what we need. It's supposed to be a temple, not a, not an arena. I don't know what that is. What I'm really missing out here is there are really very few, specifically temple-y uh, ruins in this in this collection. Uh, most of these seem to be military, um, or maybe not. Maybe these are temples, and I'm just not very good at seeing, seeing them for what they are. Oh, this is a classic. With the little hole at the top there. Uh, it's not what I need though. It's far too um, new. This is more like what I need. They say that it's quite large, but I have a feeling that if I view image, it's going to redirect me to someplace obnoxious. Yeah, I don't care to go to those kinds of sites. Hmm. Alright, so. 
While I wouldn't say that this has been an exhaustive search by any means, I would say that I've come up with the sort of look I'm trying to build. Um, so what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm probably going to start to go sketching and try and define some of the shapes I'm going to use. Uh, I know the challenges that the um, uh, that the setting needs to provide. I know the basic idea of the level layout, but I don't know how it's going to look. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. Here you can see more of this chunky disintegrating brickwork. Um, this one's Roman though. That's interesting. Uh, because it looks so similar to the chunky brickwork from Alxenar, which is not Roman. Or maybe it is Roman and it's just not near Rome. In fact, I think it's the same place. It is. So these are just the same ruins from a different angle. Hmm. Always a valuable thing to see. Hmm. So here you can see a different kind of ruin. This is a more modern house, um, and it's uh, uh, it's not useful for the architecture, but it might be useful for the plants and the overall look of it. Um, this sort of angle is very appealing. I like the idea of the player getting to go up high and then look down into the oasis. So what I'm kind of conceiving of is there is an actual water pool oasis but I don't want it to be just a giant puddle. Uh, I'm thinking that this kind of situation might make more sense where there's a ravine and at the bottom of the ravine is this kind of well house and then you can have some kind of flowing water around the well house uh, rather than just an open um, puddle like you always see. So although I'm not going to be using any of the uh, architectural elements here, I might be using some of the layout elements. So I'm going to go ahead and open that in its own uh, tab. Now the real challenge later on will be uh, building textures and so on, but we'll, we'll tackle that when it comes. Mm, I think I probably have enough inspiration. And it has been 12 minutes. So you have just you have just spent 12 minutes if you've watched straight through. Uh, you just spent a lot of time watching me just randomly peruse Google Images. What what a great um, waste of time. Oh, okay, well that is actually some cool ones here. Uh, uh, just when I was about to give up. That's how it always is, right? Now, that's beautiful, but it's definitely not what I need. This is beautiful, and it might be what I need. Now, this is a painting by Paolo Panini, and I've actually seen this painting, a replica of it, in a museum. Um... It's not what I need, but it's quite pretty. Here is another high, uh, you know, looking down into a high angle area. So if we were to look at this, it doesn't suit our needs any better than the new house. It's um, just trying to find maybe an architectural reference for looking down at a well house. I don't think I'm going to find one. All right, well, that's it. Uh, in the next episode, we will spend some time sketching.